July is already on the weekend as the largest free jazz festival returns to downtown Detroit. It's also expected to be a weekend filled with jazz legends. Jordan, I know you're a jazz lover, right? Who doesn't love jazz? Maybe just a little Miles Davis, but that's not obviously <laughs> who's here with us today. It's Chris Collins, the artistic director of the festival. Chris, yeah, thank you sure. for joining us this morning. Is Pleasure. that a jazz suit jacket you're wearing? What, what, is, well, what inspired that? Looks it's, great. I wear it when I play, so maybe something's rubbed off. It used to be just okay. blue. I don't know where all this other stuff came from. The Detroit Jazz <laughs> Music Festival. Yeah. Uh, let's first start with, I mean, how long has this been around and what, what can people expect to see and hear? Yeah, this is the 45th year, and for wow. 45 years it's been admission free, and it is one of the premier jazz festivals in the world. So it's a very special tradition hooked to the music of Detroit which makes it even that more unique that it's in a jazz city. Do you feel like jazz has been in a transition as far as where its popularity has been from maybe 20, 30 years ago to now? Kind of where's jazz at? You know, jazz, the beauty is it's, it's a little over 100 years old. It's young music, so we know the history, but it's a living, breathing art form. So it's always, you know, building on the traditions in history and language, but it's moving forward in new directions every day. And the Detroit Jazz Festival features that collection of artists of different generations like Cameron Graves and from our Detroit series uh, presented by the Rocket Companies, you've got Kassan Belgrave, a new generation. And then you've got the, the great masters, Monty Alexander, Joshua Redman. You know, it's really a collection of every generation Four stages going full bore from Friday through Monday, Labor Day weekend, and the whole schedule's at DetroitJazzFest.org. Something for everyone, I promise. Two-part question. First, let's start with this. What keeps people coming back to the festival? Well, you know, it's a great family environment centered around an art form, and we are a true jazz festival, so it's really around the art form, but the, all the things that can grow from that tree are very special. As people walk around the corner, and they get surprised all the time. Even neophytes, they say, oh, man, <laughs> I love this music. Secondly, what can get people or convince people to come to the Jazz Music Festival? The Elephant Ears. No, you know, we do have great food and drink, but incredible music and one of the best audiences in the world. 325,000 people in person and 1.6 million last year on our free live streams in 32 countries around the world. Okay, and Chris, before we let you go, where can people uh, check you out? What's the website? How much does it cost? Yeah, DetroitJazzFest.org, and it's entirely admission-free. You walk right in off the street and join the party. And when is it? It is Labor Day weekend, okay. Friday. Friday this through weekend. Monday, all four days. Okay. Our eye is on the weekend as the largest free jazz festival returns to downtown Detroit. Local, national, and global greats are all expected to take over the streets with the sounds of jazz. Earlier I spoke to Chris Collins, the artistic director, but now we have a special performance. That's right. Here's Ron English and the crew. Take it away.